Hi everyone, my name is Nis, and today I will be talking to you about Seven Tubs. So Seven Tubs is a place that my friend recently took, actually not recently, over the quarantine period, uh, took in the summer, took me and my friends to, uh, and because we were staying home and, you know, we weren't really meeting anyone. We didn't get to go back home to our families over the summer because we're all international students and she lives in Bethlehem. So she told us, hey, there's this really cool place to go for hiking. And just like we had a hammock to just like uh, attach the hammock to the trees and just listen to music, listen to the nature. Um, and all you have to do is just, it's like, it was like an hour away or so. We got like, we got snacks in the car and it was just fun. It was a nice drive. And then we ended up uh, spending the whole day here. We, we went back in the evening. Uh, and this is a place, so I, because I don't remember all the history, I Googled it. So I'm going to read it off uh, of Google. So it's called Seven Tubs Recreation Area, and it's publicly accessible um, to anyone. So we didn't have to like pay or anything. We just had to show up there uh, in the car. There was like a parking place. Uh, and then we just had to walk right in with our, with our bathing suits, with our hammock, with any snacks we wanted to have. Um, and just go right in and there were they there weren't a lot of people here so it was that's why we could go you know in like a safe secure COVID free way um, we were kind of very distant so like the people that were there there were so many places to just be outdoors and distance from each other and that's why we thought it was like a good activity to do over the summer um, but yeah so we we went right in uh, and something else right here. So it's located in Luzerne County, Pennsylvania. So if any of you uh, live nearby or, you know, you 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 think you can go there uh, easily or have family or friends around there, uh, bring it up with your parents and make a trip down there. It's very fun, very memorable. Uh, and so the history here is that continuously flowing glacial meltwater gouged a line of smooth tubs in gritty sandstone over 12,000 years ago. That was a lot of English for me, but um, just, uh, this is like glacial water, so glacier water, so it's like clean and pure, uh, and it's like constantly running, uh, and so, and it was formed 12,000 years ago, uh, and so we have all these, it's this water body uh, in front of us, um, but yeah, this basically the idea is that there's like these tubs and there I think there's like seven of them maybe that's why it's called seven tubs uh but you get to you kind of get to slide down them so it's like rocks so it's kind of dangerous you can't go through all of them some are easy to do some are hard to do I didn't do any of them because I'm a wimp uh, this is how it is uh one of my friends did it because he was feeling brave um and the one that's been here before with her family and with her friends who took us here she actually didn't do it that day either she was she, she was like I've done it and I scraped my knee once so I'm never doing it again so it is safe but because it's I mean it's it's risky so I wouldn't I think you know if you end up going there uh you would probably want to ask your parents how they feel about it um or whoever takes you how they feel about it uh, but my friend suggested I don't do it, so I didn't do it. Um, but apparently it's a lot of fun. So what happens is that here's on this right, on the right, you can see the stream. Uh, this one is like, you. it's not, so it's not like this because you can't really slide down this. This is kind of like very straight, but the ones that you can slide down, there's like ones that are really steep and ones that are like kind of, and there's some that are really rocky, like, so you can't do it on those. Uh, but yeah, it's people like get go. There's like stairs, or you can climb the rocks um, and just go up, and then you end up sliding down from the, on the water, and you you know end up going down with your friends uh, one by one, obviously because it's very narrow in between rocks. Uh, or you can you know yeah do it alone, go down, then come back up and meet your friends. Uh, so it's all very fun. Uh, and if you don't want to do it, it's still fun. You get a nice day out uh, with it. So these are just some nice pictures that I took in my phone. Uh, and I'm just putting them here for you all to see. Uh, it was very nice, very pretty. And you just kind of walk around. There's so many areas to go. So it's not like 
it's not like a gate that you open and you just go it's it's like the outdoors so it was just fun to explore this whole place and obviously we didn't explore the whole place but um it's fun to explore whatever we could uh so yeah and here obviously i don't think i can do a good job at just showing it to you by pictures because it is outdoors so all you're gonna see are mainly trees from different angles and some water and you, you think I'm showing you a picture of the same thing. So I uh, put in some nice videos here for you to see. Uh, this one on the left, I'll play it. Uh, so yeah, so this one on the left, that's me and that's in water. Uh, mainly this video was taken for this dog who was there. The person came with his dog and this dog was the cutest dog I've ever seen. I clearly was trying to go get the dog's attention. Oh, the other one started playing. Um, but yeah, this is how it looked. Uh, this is what I saw. This was a much quieter area. As you can see, there were people on that other side. So that was like a more, that was like a place where you could hang out with people and get together and like have fun in the, the water that you saw. I'll show it to you again. Yeah, so you see all this water on the right. Yeah, people were like down there kind of swimming. So it was still COVID friendly because as you can see, I wasn't anywhere near these people. We were all six feet apart. Um, but, you know, there were, so we had like our little bubbles, bubbles here and there. But some, sometimes some people would get in the water with you. So like someone here and you're here. Uh, so if you're, you know, if you want to be safe, that's just like a warning. Uh, but yeah, it was, this part was like where we spend the most time at uh, above where like I'm walking down from up here right to this point. So we would like swim down here and then up here, like a little behind, uh, we would, we had our hammock up and we were um, just eating and we were just chilling and listening to all the sounds of nature and then we found music, it was very nice. Um, and this was, you know, mainly what we saw. This was like, we walked a little bit farther to the isolated area this was where there weren't people this was the vibe okay and so here i put in some pictures i tried not to include my friends that much um but this was just a fun thing that my friends so this was this is the water that i was talking about earlier that you saw a little bit of um and uh, in that other video of me chasing that dog um but that's those those are my friends as one of them has his shoe the other one's shoe and so you can see like threw it on the ground in the water. And then one of my other friends, she would pick it up and give it back. And then the other one would throw it down. He's like not giving it to him. So I was just, like, we were just having fun the whole day basically in this water. Uh, and here's an example of a very little slide. So you, they would get, they got up from over here up to like here and, or like our hammock was somewhere like right behind these people right there. Um, our ham not, not right behind them, but it was like, it was like the short walk down or um, you could go, if you were in the water, you could climb up from this side and end up over here and then you could slide down here. So my friend is actually sliding down from right there. But, uh, so that's like very little, right? It's not much, but it would, it was still fun. That I didn't do that either because I'm open, but it was still fun for him is what he said. But it was like very, hard to like do it it would like really hurt sometimes so I think the longer ones would hurt a lot more so I think like the ideal situation would be like have like a board or something to like slide down on um but yeah so and this wasn't even like the the so it was this wasn't even like a small thing it just you could like get up in the middle of it and do it so this actually goes back like way over there so people would be like sliding down all the way from up there and landing in this water right here uh and his poor shoe was just yeah he didn't get his shoe for a while uh and that again is my friends is goofing off with a with a tree branch that's like that there were a lot of random things over there that we took pictures with but i just included one uh and here was a really cool cave thing that like i didn't pass through um because uh, there was because I was actually standing on a rock uh, you can't really see it but like you had to jump through rocks to even get to this point in the cave you can see like in this picture on the right uh, there's like water and there's like these little rocks around uh, so I actually went on rocks and like big rocks and went up there so, like these but bigger versions and I was standing on one right now 
but you can see they get like very small and very like far apart from each other as you go inside the cave. So I think, uh, so I didn't want to get my shoes wet. Uh, yeah, I'm a party pooper like that, but I was, just, I just wanted to take a picture and then go hang out and chill. Uh, but yeah, that there was like a really cool cave. I have no idea what's on the other side. Like I told you, it was so, there's so much to explore over there, so you can make a whole day of it. Um, but yeah, that's it. that was the cave part. And then a really cool thing happened was that, like I said before, uh, you could either climb on things or there's stairs. Like there's stairs all around where you could just like get to one place or the other uh, on the mountain. Uh, so we like just we were exploring and we ended up climbing some stairs and going like oh let's see where we're heading and we went to like a lot of random places with a lot of random trees and took pictures and things like that um and then we took some stairs like way up to the top that like brought us to this train uh it was a random train I don't know if it runs or not but I'm pretty sure it does uh but I, I don't know what it carries or anything but it was just really cool. Was, we were we were shocked because like the last thing we were expecting there was a train, like a train track or a train, like just sitting there. Uh, and so obviously we decided to climb it. Um, and so here's a picture of me in, with the train right here. It was very long, like obviously it's a train. Uh, and so it was just like a little part of the train that was in front of us that we could see the rest that we, we didn't go in because there were so many trees around. Um, and we also didn't end up going on the opposite side of the train. So there was, the, there was also that part. So we climbed up um, this train and this picture is actually from up, you know, when we climbed the train, this picture is from up the, on the train. Uh, so that's what we could see on our right and our left were just trees around us. Um, but it was a really cool experience. Uh, but what, what was cool about it is that this exact ladder was also on the opposite side. So we could actually get down on the opposite side and see what we wanted. But one of our friends, like we left her in the back uh, on the hammock. So we felt really bad. Like if we went over there and started exploring, like there was also a little cell service. So we were just like, we're not going to leave the poor girl hanging. So next time we'll come and explore again. But uh, yeah, so like I said, there's so much to explore over here uh, in this cool little recreational area that's just open and free for anyone to attend with their family, with their friends, anyone. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm just going to end it on this slide right here because I don't think I have anything else. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this experience with me um, and I highly recommend it's in Pennsylvania. Uh, it's not that far. At, at least I think it was like an hour-ish, uh, maybe over, maybe less. I'm not sure. I'll ask my friend for next time, but uh, highly recommend. All right. Uh, see you all next time.